Hey guys, it's Rawad from Hudson & Company and on today's episode we are talking about the three most popular vintage Rolex models which would be the Datejust, Submariner, and the Daytona and the three best affordable alternatives to those watches. And those affordable alternatives are also going to be vintage watches. So with that being said, let's get into it. All right, so before I start with the three watches that I had in mind, I wanna talk about Tudor itself, the sister brand of Rolex. For all three models, being the Submariner, the Datejust, and the Daytona, there is a perfect alternative when it comes to Tudor, which would be Tudor's version of the Submariner, which is the 79090 and other models, the Tudor Oyster Date, which would be a perfect alternative to the Rolex Datejust and the Tudor Tiger, which would be the perfect alternative to the Daytona. But I didn't just wanna bring up Tudor because that is the sister brand of Rolex themselves. And I thought it would be fun to bring up actual alternatives from different brands. So with that being said, let's get into number one, which is gonna be the Rolex Submariner. So the Rolex Submariner is a beautiful watch, coming in at 40 millimeters, the reference 166010 and the reference 14060 are gonna be the Neo Vintage models with a sapphire crystal and a great daily piece for anybody looking to get a Rolex that they can wear and enjoy for really any occasion. The starting price for a Rolex Submariner is around $10,000, no matter what model or reference you are looking at. And then if you want something a bit more special or a bit more modern, you're gonna add thousands to even tens of thousands of dollars. But I have the perfect alternative for you. This watch is also under $300, and that's going to be the Seiko SKX, reference SKX031 and 033. Starting with the 031, this is gonna be a simple black dial, black bezel, and again, for under $300, you can throw this on a Jubilee or Oyster bracelet, or keep it on the rubber strap that it comes with. At the same time, you have the reference 033, which is gonna be the Pepsi version of this Seiko SKX. The great thing about the SKX model is it is super moddable. Coming in at 39 millimeters, it is also similar to the pre-ceramic bezel Submariners. This watch is perfect for anyone looking to spend a couple hundred dollars and at the same time maybe wants to mod something and make it their own. So find yourself an SKX reference 031, get some aftermarket parts, and there you go. You have the perfect modded homage to a Submariner. Or just leave it alone, throw it on an Oyster bracelet, and you have a Seiko with its SKX style but at the same time a great Submariner alternative. All right, number two, probably the most identifiable Rolex, the Rolex Datejust. The Rolex Datejust has also been alive since 1945, and it is the perfect watch for anybody looking for something classy yet casual and can daily wear it, and at the same time, throw it on a leather strap and have some fun. The Datejust comes in a numerous amount of colors when it comes to the case itself with precious metal and the dials, from blues to matte whites. You can really find a Datejust tailored to anybody's needs or specifications. With a 36 millimeter case, the Datejust is a perfect watch. But where do we go to for the perfect affordable alternative? And in my honest opinion, I find the Omega Seamaster, but specifically a handful of models with a specific case that is similar to a 1600 or 16,000, which would be the smooth bezel iteration of the Rolex Datejust 36. These examples are first gonna be the silver dial date examples, either regular Seamasters or COSC certified, which is the reference 166.010 and the reference 1 168.024. Again, these examples are stainless steel and sometimes you can find a gold plated example. These watches are either regular Seamasters or cost certified and could be had for under a thousand dollars and maybe a bit more depending on the condition or if you want to find them on their original beads of rice bracelet. With a beads of rice bracelet on your wrist, you can really get that all steel Jubilee date just feel but with an Omega Seamaster. At the same time, if you do want to add a bit of color, you have two other options with a no date dial. The first example is gonna be the two-tone reference 2975. This is a simple, no-date, 34 millimeter case, two-tone with a stainless steel case and gold bezel. Then you have the reference 14733, which is one of my favorites. This example could be had in both steel and two-tone, and you can find them in either a silver, gray, or black dial. And sometimes you can even find them with gold hour markers for an extra bit of touch to the dial. With a smooth bezel and the lug similar to a Datejust, this becomes the perfect alternative in my opinion and still vintage and has its own heritage with the Seamaster name. You can find these examples with both no date or date. So whatever you're looking for, the Seamaster line is going to have it. 
And now for the big one, the Rolex Daytona, a watch that could be had for 20,000 or hundreds of thousands of dollars, depending on the reference and the age, similar to the very expensive Paul Newman. But with that being said, where do we go to for an affordable alternative? Now again, I could bring up Tudor and the Tiger and that would be an easy alternative. But in my opinion, the Omega Speedmaster Reduced is the perfect affordable alternative. For well under $4,000, depending on the model that you're looking at, you can have these. Even some examples could be had for between two and $3,000. An automatic movement with the Omega and Speedmaster name on the dial. I wanna talk about three specific reduced models that I think are perfect alternatives to some of the most most popular vintage Rolex Daytonas. And first is going to be the Panda. With a beautiful white dial and black registers, this becomes the perfect alternative to the Panda Dial Daytona. And if you're looking for a reverse Panda, this example is the reverse Panda Dial for the Omega Speedmaster Reduced. The watch is also just as stunning as the Panda and is fairly affordable for under $3,000. Now for something a bit more special and even rare for the Speedmaster Reduced itself. This is going to be the perfect affordable alternative to the super rare Rolex Rolex Daytona Cosmograph Stella Green Dial. With a green dial and silver registers, this watch is the perfect alternative to the Stella Dial Daytona. This example was also one of my favorite Speedmaster Reduced, and I think that green dial is gorgeous. Under 40 millimeters, automatic movement, the Speedmaster name for under $4,000. I don't think you could beat it. With that, keep in mind the Speedmaster Reduced has a handful of other dial colors and even case configurations with two-tone and even solid gold. The dials could also be had in reds, blues, and even some of the more rare Schumacher editions with a race style blue, yellow, and even red. These watches are beautiful and again, undervalued for under 3,000 and some of the rare models being had for between three and $4,000. The Omega Speedmaster Reduced is the perfect alternative for the Rolex Daytona, specifically the vintage models. All right, guys, thank you so much for checking out today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it with some affordable alternatives from both Omega and Seiko, all well under $4,000, and I think the perfect alternatives for some of the most popular vintage Rolexes. If you had another watch in mind that you thought was the best affordable alternative for one of these models, please comment it down below. I would love to see your guys' opinions. With that being said, keep in mind we are also doing our first watch giveaway on February 1st. So if you haven't already, subscribe and turn on push notifications so you can keep up to date with that. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you guys in the next one.